Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel for another unboxing, view and test. Today I have this induction hob from Silvercrest, kitchen tool, quick and energy efficient cooking with 8 automatic programs, touch screen controls, temperature from 60 to 240 degrees Celsius, 10 power and temperature settings with a 2 meters of cable, 2200 watts power consumption and with a 3 years warranty. So let's open the box to find out more about this product and how we can use it. In the past I have made a video for double, this is single, but why not, let's test them up. And included of course we have in the manual, if you want to read it is your choice, but stay with me and find out all about this uh, product. The 2 meters of cable, very convenient. No ground. And there is the surface. Induction technology heats pots and pans directly, rather than heating the cooking surface. Making it highly efficient, this method saves energy and reduces cooking times compared to traditional electric or gas hobs. In the case you need to use a duction hob, you need pans compatible with this device. So have it in your mind and that when you are buying this kind of device. It's lightweight and portable making it easy to use in small kitchens, dorm rooms or for outdoor cooking. Its compact size also makes it a great addition for those who need an extra cooking surface. This is the heating zone, the minimum and the maximum. At the bottom of the device we have the fan, four feet with silicone pads, it will stay very secure at any surface. Here is the ventilation at the back. Definitely this lightweight. The power level display symbol, the P, decreasing and increasing button, it is touch buttons, the function button, on off button, the boost function button, deep fry function button, simmer function button, the stew function button, obviously we have the display here, the milk function button, the soup function button, here for the water, Reheat keep warm function button, the child lock button, the timer and the symbol for the temperature display. So let's plug it in. To turn on press and hold the on off button. Child lock, press and hold. It is on, we can see the LED indicator. So you can control nothing. Nothing it works. But you can switch it off. Disable the child lock, press and hold again to turn on. You can choose one of these programs. We can hear the fan. Now it sounds because it is nothing at the surface. Let's see if it will shut down. And there it is, it is off. To use this device we need an induction pan. You can choose one of these programs. Deep fry function. 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Or this program. Simmer function button for 30 minutes L10 program and of course you can adjust from 0 1 10 it is uh, the maximum or this two function L3 for two hours the milk function button 
60 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. The soup function L5 program 1 hour and 30 minutes. And you can adjust the program. Water function button L10. for 20 minutes nineteen minutes remaining reheat keep warm function sixty degrees celsius for two hours and the boost function button goes to L11 the maximum program with the M button function you can choose your program timer maximum three hours One minute. Let's see if it will shut off after uh, one minute. And of course, you can adjust the program in the period of the timer. Waiting a few seconds more. The LED display with uh, intuitive touch controls allow you to set cooking times and adjust temperatures easily. The timer function is especially useful for precise cooking, alerting you when your food is ready. High temperature and it is off. And on again. Now I would like to see how long it will take to boil a 3.2 liters of water. It is the maximum capacity, the 3.2 liters for this pan. L10 and let's try the boost mode for a few seconds and then it goes at the L10, the maximum mode. And here we can see at the power consumption right now 1.87 kilowatts or 1870 watts. Boost mode And we can see when I'm choosing the temperature, 240 degrees Celsius, it is the maximum. The power consumption, it drops. So, let's choose the program. L05, 6, 7, Increasing the power consumption. Eight. Increasing more. Nine. Ten the maximum. And the boost mode. I don't see a huge difference between the boost mode L11 and L10.
Ok. Since the hop itself doesn't get hot, spills and splatters are less likely to burn into the surface. The smooth flat design makes it easy to wipe clean after cooking. Water is boiling so I think the time is very good, I like that, thumbs up. This induction hob is a practical, energy efficient and user friendly solution for modern kitchens. Its portability, fast heating and safety features makes it a great choice for small spaces or as an additional cooking surface, whether you are student, a frequent camper or simply looking for a reliable induction cooking option, this hop offers versatility and convenience in a compact package. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more kitchen gadget reviews, cooking tips and home appliance guides. Hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.